Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe before I start this video. Let me tell you what we're gonna do today. We're gonna change this stereo and it's gonna go from this to this. And yeah, so today is gonna be an interior mod. It's gonna be a, a view changing interior mod because I know this is, looks kind of, I mean, I like it, it's clean, but I'm trying to get some more modern stuff in here and that's the best way to do it. Let's get inside and box this thing and then we'll come install it. guys so let's start unboxing this right here it's from digital octopus radio this is what they sent me and i'll put the model here in the description because i really don't know it from the top of my head so here it is it's going to be the do 10 to 15 Got it on pre-order too. So let's see what comes in here. All right, so this is the camera that comes included with the kit. This records in front. And I believe it might be the, the backup camera too, maybe. Oh, let's see. There's the radio itself. Mm. All the wirings. The door shine. Pretty much it in this as well. And here's the beauty. This right here. It's gonna be the new stereo that we're gonna be installing as you already saw in the intro. It's much better. So let's just go ahead and head out. I mean the unboxing was pretty simple. It was nothing, just bags and bags and, and the stereo itself. So let's just go outside and let's get to installing this thing. Okay. So here's the goodies. What is... All right, and this is the camera. Okay, what makes this camera unique is that they've made it to where it looks almost like stock let's call it because here you keep your this goes under the license plate this is the license plate light right here but as you see it don't look like the one i currently have is the whole license plate in this case you see it's kind of it's kind of stock looking so i like that all right so let's just go ahead what we need to do is take this trim out first Let me go grab the keys real quick. Let this thing go all the way over here. So it is right here. And there you go. That should pop out. Nice. So let's just get this out of the way. Now I'm going to use this as an extension because I already don't have extension. So. so size 7 on that. There's two of them. I really don't want to move the cameras or not change the, the angle, but there's two screws in there. Now, how to take it off? I don't know. I heard he just pry it off, I think. Six and a half hours later. It's not working. Let's go ahead. Now, take some harnesses. So there's only one big harness right here and that's it right here so this right here i mean it did its job nothing wrong with it really everything was working good just need an upgrade so i'm gonna be saving that just in case now let's see yep looks like it's gonna be a seven as well might as well use my extension and this is the last of the head unit right here All 
right, let's see what harnesses go. Yeah, so basically everything's in here. I don't know if you can see it really good, but GPS, the antenna right here, there's some harnesses. I guess this one's to open and close. And then the power is located right there. And yeah, like I said, 4G. So it looks like it, that is the same compatibility. I tend to keep my videos pretty short but this one's gonna be pretty hard now i'm gonna start you know delete some pieces and parts to make it shorter because i am wasting a little bit too much time here i just don't see what i'm missing am i supposed to plug something in or what I guess, let's see what happens there. Let's see this one. Okay, here you go, the, the door shine going on. Ooh, look at that. First time. Okay, see it goes on. Okay, that's the first look of how it's going. Hey, that looks nice. That looks nice, I like it, all right get back to work before we get too happy oh before i forget before i forget i'm glad i remembered we need to take these pins right here and i'm so glad i remember that part because it would suck take these pins off just like that just like that we need two like i said i did see you in the stop video before yeah i know it don't look like it but I promise you it did. It's not even close. Oh, there you go. Damn, that went in pretty good. That fits perfect in there. So let's go ahead and put everything back. All right, and that is the installation part. So let's just get to putting everything back up and I'll show you a little bit of the radio itself. Here it is. I got to play a little bit with it. I haven't really played much. This is your unlock lock. It's instantly. There's no no lag or anything like that. Here's your this is kilometers per hour. But I haven't played with the settings. I haven't done nothing but just looked what apps you could get. You know, there's Chrome right there, Bluetooth. You can change the themes. There's maps. You saw the GPS. I would show you that, but I would show my location got files it looks like you can even get on facebook there's youtube video on star is the air conditioning more less i know there says two but i believe they both come together as you can see because i don't have the dog climbing or whatever ventilated seats you have everything you can turn it off and on see there's not much difference and that's that you go back to home like I said, Bluetooth. And then there comes with some pre-made videos that you could do. I guess you could plug in like a USB with videos already in there. Let me tell you, the sound quality got way better. I don't know how. Uh, that's one of the things I was kind of sketchy about. You know, when you change your, your stock audio, usually your audio doesn't sound as good with your head unit. This head unit, dang, when, when I turned it on, everything was good. I played some music through my Bluetooth and it sounds way better, it's even louder. You see it's barely at 10 and it's already loud. The bass is already good, it's pretty clear. The fitment, I mean, you kind of see it's a little bit here, but I'm not asking for like an exact perfect fitment. But as you can see, your it's a pretty good size and your air conditioning is already out. So here's your before, after, as you can see, it's a way, way better upgrade. It's a good upgrade. For the pricing, I mean, you could really just look online, 
digital octopus because I know it might change or by the time you see this video if it's passed a long time it's probably cheaper or even more expensive depending on how it's going or they probably got new products they already had one less than this this is the to this date the, the best one you could get because you could dim right here yeah you could dim it Equalizer, see it's a pretty big equalizer too. I'm pretty sure that's why the sound just sounds as good as it sounds. And I mean, there's a lot more things to this. I just have to get more familiar with it. You know, I just installed it, so I just need to get a little bit of drive time, get familiar with it, and then I could do a further review. And if y'all really want, I could do an update here in months, or depending on how you're asking it, and I would be willing to, to do so. Like I said, stay tuned and thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all's support, like, comment, and see y'all till next video.